Hello and welcome back to another video log of mine. I am Marian Valencia and I am a first year medical school student here in the Philippines. Today, I am going to tell you about three basic things that you need to consider if you plan on taking the National Medical Admission Test here in the Philippines or if you want to get high grades in the NMAT. NMAT or the National Medical Admission Test here in the Philippines is basically an exam that all of us need to go into if you want to study medicine here in the country. The NMAT exam is held twice a year here in the country, usually October or March. It will not determine your ranking in the medical school proper per se, but it will determine if you can fully grasp and learn about the concepts of medicine, especially in the first year. Our NMAT scores will be able to determine what schools we will be able to apply to since each school has a different cutoff grade of NMAT. So make sure to research on what cutoff NMAT grade the school you are aiming to go into is requiring. There are two parts in NMAT. The first part includes the verbal, inductive reasoning, quantitative, and perceptual equity. The second part are the sciences, including biology, chemistry, physics, and social sciences. You can learn more about them on the CEM page or the Center for Educational Measurement, which I will link down below. So without further ado, let me present to you the three things that you need to know if you want to get a high grade on NMAT. The first thing that I want to talk about is the topic. The topics that will be included there are the things you've learned during high school. This will also include sort of like the entryway of those parts that I've told you about during college time. But what you need to focus on are actually the topics or the things which are cited in the reviewer which the CM will be sending you after you have registered for the NMAT exam. So in the reviewer, those will be sets of questions and you need to take down notes on what topics they included. Do not memorize the questions per se, but you need to know what topics are in, what are included in those topics. You need to master the topics themselves. Basically all about the topic itself. So that's it for topics and let's move on to tip number two, which is pacing. This is one of the biggest mistakes that I've committed when I was taking my NMAT exam last 2017. I did not time myself when I was studying for NMAT. One thing I do want to share with you is that NMAT questions are not short ones. They are long in terms of reading and also in terms of answering. So I do hope you find ways for you to read the questions faster and grasp the question faster and also for you to answer the questions faster. In my case, I remember I was answering the third subject. Was it? I think it was physics and the last subject was chemistry. My favorite man on that. But what happened was I was still answering physics when chemistry booklets were already handed out. So that really rattled me and I was still like three-fourths of the physics exam. I was not able to finish physics when I started chemistry. So what I did was just shade, 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 whatever I could shade in physics. I was already patakain at that point, but I was still not able to shade everything. I was also not able to finish chemistry. Yeah, because I allotted some time for physics as well when I was answering chemistry. I don't want you to commit the same mistakes as I did. So I urge you to really practice your timing, your pacing, and to improve on it day by day. Once you are taking the NMAT exam, your biggest enemy there will be time. It will not wait for you to answer the question or for you to get the answer of those hard questions. So you need to have techniques on how to answer the questions quickly and also techniques on how to save time when you are answering the NMAT questions. So the third and final thing that I want to talk to you about is actually signing up for the NMAT exam. This is again one of the biggest mistakes that I've learned or I've committed when I was taking my NMAT. 
it's that I was not able to sign up early. So I urge you to sign up early for the NMAT exam. The registration period will be announced in the CEM online page. So make sure that you're updated about the NMAT as it will be posted in the online page that I will link down below. As early as possible, you need to register because it again goes back into tip number one, which is topics. Again, I said that most of the topics that will be included in the NMAT exam proper will be based on the review work sent by the CEM. However, you will not get the review work if you have not registered for it. You can register online, which I did, and it's very easy because it's all online and you can pay via it. I don't know if there's internet banking in my time. I paid via 7-Eleven, so there are modes of payments that are very easily accessible to you. So if you're already sure that you'll be taking the NMAT this season, go for it. I am a pagduedugay because you will be needing the reviewer, which I am always talking about here in this video. And it will lead you to success. It will really help you when you are studying for NMAT because let's face it, there are a lot of topics covered in biology, chemistry, physics, and we don't want to waste our time studying about things that will not even come out in the exam. So we need to narrow down the topics if we have extra time, then we can delve deeper into other things. But make the topics included in the reviewer your topmost priority in studying for the NMAT. On the other hand, if you're not yet sure whether or not you'll be taking the NMAT this season, find friends and family who are kind enough to let you borrow some notes or the reviewer so that you can skim and take notes on the topics on. I don't think this is violating any rules because first of all, they already paid for the NMAT reviewer and it does not really restrict them from sharing it with you. And also, secondly, it's not violating any rules because if you are going to take the NMAT this season, it's still the same. You will still register for it, you will still pay for it. It's just that you got the hold or you got to skim through the reviewer earlier. So it's still the same. I have a lot of things lined up about NMAT and I hope you do subscribe and share and like and comment down below what you want to know about medicine or NMAT or anything under the sun and I'll be very happy to attend to them. So those are the three basic things that I need you to consider if you want to get a high NMAT score. So make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, and click that little bell button below and get connected with me if you want. You can send me messages pertaining about medicine or my life in general and we can chat. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you do like this video and let me know your thoughts. Thank you. See you next time.